Hi guys, this is a continuation of the series where we're looking at ways to release lower back stiffness and lower back pain. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a way of releasing the hip flexors. Uh, little more than in the previous video, uh, but pretty simple. What you'll need for the first exercise is a couple of balls. I'm using these balls called Sensi balls, which are actually filled with air. They have a valve in them, which are quite nice. And if you don't have those, you can use tennis balls, you can use these bouncy rubber balls, whatever you have available. If you don't have balls at hand, you can just use a couple of thick uh, socks or rolled up tea towels, something that creates a bit of space. Okay, so we're going to start on our belly and you're going to place the balls under the front of the pelvis like this in the crease of the pelvis. So if you feel for the little bony point on the front of the pelvis, the balls are just below that and slightly inside. You can perhaps see where I have it. And then turn your thighs in slightly so that the heels drop out a little. So there's a little feeling of the kneecaps facing each other. Press your pubic bone forward and down so there's some length coming to the lower back. Bend your right knee. Release. Press the pubic bone forward and down. Bend your left knee. Release. Again, press the pubic bone forward and down to get some space in the lower back, bend your right knee. Now just to 90 degrees. Keep that pressing forward of the pelvis and slightly lift your right knee. Release. Pubic bone forward and down. Bend your left knee. Slightly lift the left knee. Release. Let's do that again. Pubic bone forward and down. Bend your right knee. Slightly lift the right knee. Release. Pubic bone forward and down. Bend the left knee. Slightly lift the left knee. Release. Pubic bone forward and down. Now with a straight knee, lift the right leg. Release. Straight knee, lift the left leg. One more time, pubic bone forward and down, lift the right knee. Pubic bone forward and down, lift the left knee. Release. Press the pubic bone forward and down. And then remove the balls from under the front of the pelvis on your hands and knees. Lengthen the back of the body by pressing through the hands, through the knees. Press your hands and knees away from each other. Release the head. Now see if you can breathe into the belly in this position. Lengthen the front of the body a little. And again, lengthen the back of the body. Really lift your ribs, press through your hands, press your knees and hands away from each other. Breathe in. Lengthen the front of the body. Now we're going to do a release using a lunge position. Take extra padding under your knees if you need it. Take your left leg forward and you can use a block for the right hand. So we're going to make little circles of the right knee through the ankle like this. So you see my knee is going slightly past the ankle and then the other direction. Now think of the pubic bone pressing forward a bit here. So you want to have a sense of that length by pressing the pubic bone forward 
watch that your front ribs are not sticking out. Bring the back of the head back. Stay like that. Then reach up with the right arm. Take a breath. Come back from there and switch sides. So making little circles with the right knee and the right ankle. Change direction. Then just lean forward a bit, pubic bone forward. So it's a sense of the pelvis coming back a little. Keep your front ribs contained. Lean the back of the head back a little. So you're not dropping the head. Head is up. Stay like that. Then take the left arm up. Reach up into the left arm to lengthen out that whole left side. Take a breath. Then after doing that, we'll release the lower back again. So lift up through the spine, lift your ribs, press your hands and knees away from each other, and then lengthen the front of the body. One more time, lift the ribs, press your hands and knees away from each other, release the head, and if your knees allow, sit back toward your heels, rest your forehead down, release the lower back. So again, a couple of simple ways to release the hip flexors and the lower back. Give these a try. If you're someone who has to spend a lot of time in the day sitting, these may be helpful for you to release a tight or painful lower back. Thanks for joining me today on Nomad Yoga. Namaste.